Okay, this question comes from June 2007. Again, it's module 6, question 2, which is again uh, the comparison between fusion and fission. Uh, so it's a fusion fission uh, reaction. We're told that the fusion reaction between a lithium nucleus and a deuterium nucleus is represented by the equation given. Lithium plus hydrogen goes to uh, 2 of uh, helium. The energy released is 3.59 times 10 to minus 12, and the first part is to convert this to mega electron volts. So first of all, it's just mega electron volts to be careful about there, but the, in order to convert this, that's 3.59 times 10 to minus 12. That's in joules, so we need to divide that by the electronic charge 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. So that then gives a value of uh, 2.24 times 10 to the power of 7. Sorry, 10 to the power of 7, whenever we work that out. Which that means then, because it's mega electron volts, then that becomes 22.4 mega electron volts. We are then asked to calculate the energy released per nucleon of fuel. So the fuels that are used are lithium and hydrogen. The number of nucleons, well, there are six in lithium and two in hydrogen. So there are eight nucleons altogether. So it's going to be 22.4 divided by eight, which is equal to 2.8 mega electron volts per nucleon. So 2.8 mega electrons per per uh, mega electrons per nucleon. Then the energy released in the fission of one uranium, 235, is approximately 200 mega electrons. Comment on your answer to A in comparison with this figure. Well, in order to compare like with like, we have to convert the 200 mega electron volts that we have to per nucleon. So it's 200 mega electron volts divided by 235, which gives us then that it's equal to 0.85 mega electron volts per nucleon and therefore what we find is that the the answer to a part uh, one is bigger it's 2.8 compared to not point so uh, there's more energy per nucleon released by fusion compared to fission. So there's more energy per nucleon released by fusion than fission. So it's just important to get that to be mega electron volts per nucleon so that we can compare like with like. So 0.85 versus 2.8 much much less per uh, nucleon released by the fission rather than the fusion. State two uh, other advantages of fusion over fission. This again is something that has come up time and again, so you need to remember this. And the first thing we have is that there's no long lived radioactive waste, so there's no radio, no long lived radioactive waste produced. And secondly, that there's an almost limitless, okay, so we have an almost limitless supply of fuel and where does that fuel come from well that's in the form of water hydrogen found in seawater describe what a plasma is there's only one mark for this so we're looking for a fairly straightforward simple answer and a plasma is simply it's the fourth state of matter where it's a highly ionized gas so that's a mixture of uh, protons and electrons, so it's a highly ionized gas. In effect, what we've got is protons and electrons uh, moving around in rapid random motion, a bit like uh, molecules in a gas. Briefly outline the basic principles of plasma, con uh, pl plasma confinement by inertial. So we're looking at inertial confinement. Three marks for this, so we're looking for three points. So in inertial confinement, what happens is that the plasma first of all is bombarded by and it's either bombarded by lasers or some other ions ion beam but it's bombarded by laser photons right? and the shell uh, the shell moves outwards 
as a result of that the shell gets heated up and it moves outwards and then a shock wave compresses so what that does it the shock wave compresses uh, the core and heats and heats the core so its temperature increases and there's not a lot of room to put in there if you look in the mark scheme what you'll see is that this bit plasma bombarded by laser photons that's what the examiner's looking for the first mark and then shockwave compresses the core for the second mark and that the core gets heated up for the third mark so those are the three areas that you get your marks for that